Hey everyone, how's it going? Here I am. More IOB stuff. I had to. I had to pick up something from Home Depot. And I don't know if some of you might have watched a previous video where I bought this Armor All car, orbital car buffer. Um, it works fine. It's, it's good for applying and removing wax. I got no complaints other than the cord is a pain in the ass. Um, it just keeps coming unplugged from the extension cord and I don't want to be dragging a cord across the hood or the sides of my car. But I'm going to keep it anyway because it's, I don't know, it's handy. It's a nice little thing and it doesn't vibrate a whole lot in your hands. So I will be keeping it. But supplement it. We'll get that out of the way. We'll open this up. It's the OB1 Plus 18 volt 10 inch orbital buffer. Up to one and a half hours runtime, 2500 RPM. Ergonomic handle design. Uh, those of you that watch my channel know I'm a, a big fan of Ryobi. And this was $59 Canadian, so it's probably a lot cheaper for you guys in the US. the bonnets it comes with. I believe it comes with one application bonnet and one buffing bonnet. There we go. Nothing, nothing too surprising here. It is what it is. It's not terribly heavy, but it, it feels solid. It feels well built. Let me see on the box if there's a weight. Four point three pounds. There you go. Four point three pounds. Stand powerful motor, cordless convenience, crescent shaped handle, around a morbid, elastic bonnet, new and improved grip zone over mold. That would be this this rubber grippy stuff. Feels good. I'm just gonna grab a battery here. And for this, I grabbed the four, four amp hour battery. I've got uh, six is the biggest one I've got. Not bad. It doesn't feel bad on the hands at all. It doesn't over the, no. Not bad vibration at all. If you can see how still the body stays while that goes. I mean, of course, it's going to be different when I'm actually buffing something, but. Not, not hand tinging, tinglingly bad. So there you go. I like it. It's good. I will do another video once I've tried it out. And I'm sure. I mean, they're a simple tool, orbital buffers. So there's not much to really demonstrate per se. Now let's get on to the exciting part here. The Ryobi One Plus 18 volt. What the heck did I do with my scissors? There. Glue gun. Been looking for this for a while, but they're always sold out. And this was only 24 or something. So not bad at all. I probably would have paid a little more for it if it wasn't on sale, but I don't know how much. Not much. Jeez, I hate this packaging. That'd be a criminal offense to use this stuff. See what I go through for you guys? Uh, I thought I had a, a utility knife around here, but I don't know where it is. I used to have all sorts of them and they all disappear. I think my wife steals them, frankly. Holy cripes, this is going to be a 10-hour video. Let's see if I can get it out here. That should be enough, I would think. Holy moly, this is crazy. I wonder if 
it has anything to do with stopping people from stealing the stuff. Make it so difficult to open the packaging that the thief's not going to bother with it. I don't know. I've never been a thief, so I can't, um, can't relate to their motives or anything. No instructions? Hey, there's supposed to be some glue in here too. Oh, there they are in the bottom. So I do got to open it more. Supposed to come with a couple of glue sticks to get this started. Okay, I'm gonna get a utility knife. This is ridiculous. Ready ho. Holy smokes. This is crazy. You guys got 911 on speed dial? Might need it. Okay. Three glue sticks they give you. Instructions, warranty stuff. But I'm not going to use the instructions. That would be counterproductive of me. Okay, so it does have an on and off switch on the side here. Assume it will light up when the battery is in it. Metal tip. It's nice. Looks looks brass. You guys see it? There you go. Pretty cool. P305 glue gun. There we go. I was I was correct. Lights up. No need for the manual, as I was sure of already. Feed it some glue. Push that in all the way by hand. I'll turn this on and see roughly how long it takes. No. We'll just see how quickly it heats up. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to start gluing shit together to show you what it does. Everybody knows what a glue gun does, right? If not, there's other channels for, for people. People like you. It's not quite ready yet. Let's have a look see what it says about. There's a glue stick, which piece of paper underneath the glue gun, install battery pack, set the glue gun on wrap. It doesn't say anything about how long it takes to get to operating temperature, it just says different glue sticks will react differently. Helpful hints. Blah blah blah. Flying hot glue, install battery pack. Now time for the glue to melt so it flows through freely from the nozzle. coming. Um, let's put a bit on here. This works great. You got a nice big blob of glue on there. That didn't take long at all to heat. I like it. It's not heavy. I mean, without the battery, it's next to nothing. This thing is I don't know, a pound and a half maybe. Just have a weight. It does. So it's not even pound. It's 0.86 of a pound. So there you go. Imagine this is a caution about the tip is hot. Don't touch the tip. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Reduce the risk of fire. Don't expose, don't expose to moisture. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a glue gun. What more do you need to know? It's pretty cool. I don't know if you need the heavy duty battery for it, but whatever. It says it lasts up to, I saw it on here somewhere, 3.5 hours runtime. Works with all purpose high strength adhesive. So, there you go. 
three year warranty on the, the glue gun and I'm sure there's some sort of warranty on this one. Again, three year warranty. So that's it. That's that's my shiznit for the biznit. There we go. The buffer, the 10 inch orbital buffer and the glue gun. I can think of a whole bunch of uses for this thing already. There's been many times when I've had to use my crappy little corded one that I don't know. I think it's 20 years old and I think I stole it from my mother's craft room way back then. Um, so yeah, this will definitely come in handy. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's it. You got any questions, comments, want to send me money, whatever, just let me know below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.